really excited to see the visual data because I think that's going to be the, the nicest part of this whole experiment, of course. That's the visual confirmation that I think that you have working for, yeah, worked out in the end and made a nice, a nice working concept. I'm Niels, I'm doing a PhD in, uh, at Eindhoven University of Technology. And now I just come here to uh, do a nice experiment of sent into space. We've now launched a balloon in the sky, which has an uh, experiment of mine attached to it. It's going to be a, a concept called an inflatable antenna. So that's like, for example, your Wi-Fi, you, know, you want to receive signal send signals. We have an antenna that we can fold down very small. And once we are up in space, that's actually the, the final application. We can inflate it and make a very large structure out of it. I'm Alex, Launch Commander at Center to Space. We conducted the launch using our proprietary high altitude platform and we worked with Niels to integrate his experiment into our flight system so that we could launch, track and document the journey and the performance of the experiment. Our platform uses bespoke stratospheric balloons uh, lifted by hydrogen gas to access the near space environment. Uh, and between our advanced flight simulation models and our intelligently activated cut down systems, we can target safe flight paths and landing zones to within a couple of hundred meters, which meant that on today's launch, we were even able to film the moment that the experiment touched down on its return to Earth. I also have a communication system that communicates, uh, you know, from the balloon all the way to the ground. And I have a, nice, I have a receiver over here that, has a, that shows me what the, what the antenna has been doing so far, at least what the experiment has been doing so far. That way I can keep track of it and make sure that everything works as intended, even while it's 30 kilometers up in, uh, up in the air. So at 20 kilometers, I have a, the red, red box will open up, can kind of flap open, and then there can a few things happen. So first I have a small pump to put in some little bit of air just to get some volume into it. And after that, after uh, at 24,000 meters, we're going to switch to the CO2 canisters that I have. And these CO2 canisters are going to deliver the pressure for the antenna, so that really gets into a certain shape. To document the project, we used a customized 360 camera system on a seven foot boom arm. Now this approach requires active temperature and power regulation throughout the flight, but it means that we have record of the entire field of vision. It's the very best way to ensure every step of the experiment is documented. Now the end goal of the project is uh, it's quite, a, quite an ambitious goal, but you have to get there at one point or other. We want to take a look at how the universe started. So, you know, 14 billion years ago, there was the Big Bang. After that, we have the Dark Ages. I want to take a look at how did that build up from that point to all the way to where we are now 